for it to be fall right now it is currently 90 degrees i'm going to start my fall seeds so i'm just going to pick out some squash and pumpkins and maybe some other things i'm not sure yet and then i put them in these little seed trays that i got from epic gardening basically i'm just going to put seed starting mix in all of these add my seeds water them and then we wait I have this plant that is literally full of jalapenos. Like there are just jalapenos everywhere. And just knowing that all of that comes from a single seed that I start right now, it just really blows my mind every single time. I've been wanting to do this, get my fall seeds going. I had some animals eat mine. I had some bug problems. I went away for a weekend and they completely dried out and shriveled up. So they all died in various ways, <laughs> but I'm just gonna start now and hopefully we will have vegetables in the fall. Okay, so the vegetables that I've decided I'm going to start from seed are my acorn squash, three different types, you know, two different types of pumpkin, um, butternut squash. I'm also going to start cabbage and sugar, sugar snap peas. And then later this weekend, I'm gonna start lettuce, chard, carrots, and beets, but I'm gonna do that direct sowing, so right into the soil.
everybody. I hope you guys had an amazing month of August. Um, first off, off the bat, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the support on the course launch. Um, on the 12th, I released the digital planner design course and so many of you guys signed up and have left amazing positive comments. I've gotten a few really kind emails of just saying how much you guys are enjoying it and loving it. So thank you so much to anybody who signed up. It was a huge project and I'm so glad to share all of this knowledge with you guys for anybody who wants to learn how to design their own planner. So I'm very happy that that went well. And if you are interested, I did a Instagram live and I recorded it. So you can go watch that if you have any questions. I kind of talk more about it there, but I just wanted to off the bat say thank you so much. But jumping right into this planning session, I just added a calendar that I found from Pinterest. I am still using and loving the mid-year planner that I released back in June. I just love the open form concept of this planner. It leaves so much room for customizing and creativity and I just have so much fun planning in it. But moving into September, I don't have a too much to plan, but I really have just been enjoying the ritual of sitting down and getting creative with my planner and kind of just getting a basic view of the month ahead. It just really helps me to get excited and inspired. And of course, I'm so excited for fall, so I absolutely had to theme this planner around that. The first thing I'm putting down in my planner is that I am going to Utah for a week in September. I have never been to Utah, so I'm very excited. I'm going with my husband. He has a conference there and I'm just tagging along for emotional support and I'm gonna do some of my own things on the side for fun. So it'll just be kind of like a fun trip slash work trip. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let me know if you've ever been and you have any recommendations. I'll be in the Salt Lake City area and yeah, I'm very excited. But other than that, I don't have too much else going on in the month of September outside of a couple other social gatherings, but most of my month work-wise is going to be focused on 2025. So last month I did tons of brainstorming around 2025 planners and thinking through just what I want to do, color palettes, fonts, just overall ideas that I have. And I feel like I'm getting clear on the kind of vibe and direction I want to go with. So this month, the actual design process will begin and I'll start putting to the computer all of these things that I have in my head. And that is kind of it for the calendar portion. I know recently my plan with me have been a little bit more laid back and less like in-depth planning than I used to do. And that's honestly just because my goals have changed a lot since I first started doing these plan with me videos. They started on me planning these really big goals that I had and just kind of really striving for to be as productive as possible every month. And now my goals have changed a lot and maybe in the future I will make a video all about that. But for now, yes, this is all that I'm planning out for the month, pretty simple. And I'm moving on to the vision board. This month's vision board was all about the transition from summer into fall. And I absolutely love September. I love like that transition month when you start to get those first few fall days. It's just blissful every single time. Another big project I'm working on this month that I wanted to put some inspiration for is my new office slash studio space. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted that I came home from a vacation and my husband moved all of my office and studio supplies into our basement. We never used our basement before and he just moved everything down here and he was like, you need to use this space and make it your own. So I'm super grateful for that and we are gonna do a couple small renovations here and there and just make this like my dream studio setup to film all of my content and work and design and I'm so, so excited. So follow along on Instagram for that. Maybe I will do some sort of YouTube video with a full tour once it's done, but a lot of that will be coming up soon. So I'm super excited. And once my vision board was done, I just uploaded it to the right side of my planner and I cropped it a little bit because I keep forgetting that I need to make it a little bit smaller to fit on one side of this planner spread, but that's okay. I just cropped it a little bit and then I put fall vision board at the top in a brown color with some pink hearts and I think it looks so cute. I think it perfectly resembles the transition from summer to fall and it honestly, looking at this, just gets me so excited. 
I also went ahead and added in a few stickers. Another feature that I just love with using the Zinnia app is that there's so many stickers built within the app and it's just so easy to search up whatever you could want and just plop it right into your planner. I absolutely love it. So I put like a little sticker for the fall equinox, some fall leaves. I put a little witch's hat when October begins just to get me excited for Halloween month. And if you guys make your own planner spread, definitely tag me on Instagram or TikTok. I would absolutely love to see your spreads, what you're up to this month, how you guys decorate your planner, how you guys set everything up. I would love to see it, so definitely tag me. And this is how my final September planner spread turned out. Honestly, every time I look at this, it gets me so inspired and excited, which is the whole point of doing this. So. Once again, glad I sat down. It took some time for myself to get excited for the month ahead and to get inspired. So I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me, starting some fall seeds, getting our fall vision boards together. I can't wait for more fall content and I'm so excited. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.